Liam and find out a bit more about him and the boat. So, what led you to start cooking? Um, well, initially, um, I didn't want to. It wasn't like as soon as I was school, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go into uh, the Marines or the RAF initially. Um, and then I went down the kind of route of going to the, the counter and the meets and that sort of thing. Um, and then I sat down with my parents one day and I said, is that really what you want to do? And I said, well, yeah. So I don't think I'm too keen on the idea. Um, and they said, well, you trust me us first. If you, if you want to go into the Marines or the RAF, happily go and do it. You know, just trust me us first. Um, I was nervous or didn't want, to, didn't want me to leave them um, <laughs> or whatever it was. But yeah, I went to college of food in Birmingham and I just fell in love with it. I fell in love with the kind of mentality, team spirit, um, you know, the lecturers all. I think it was a peanut butter recipe I got shown on the last year. I'm sold, I mean. Um, <laughs> so that's that's it. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah. Peanut butter recipe. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> So working in the kitchen is quite a high-pressure environment. Yeah. So what made you want to actually make a career of it? I'm just falling in love with it. The, the thought of um, almost changing some of the emotions of what they eat or how they and their experience, and just fell in love with the food, fell in love the whole, the whole, the whole process really. And, you know, the team spirit. Um, the hours at that point didn't really bother me because you know it's, it's, what, it's kind of what you did. It's what you, you, you were a chef. You just, you just kind of work. Um, but yeah, You've worked in amazing restaurants all over the world. Tell me a bit more about that. I'd love to hear some stories. Uh, stories, there's lots of stories. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was great to get experience. A lot of some of the places I went to was for work experience, kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, start, start in different, different places. Um, I think it's quite important for chefs when they're when they're working to kind of go and see the kitchens, yeah. um, how they work, what's going on, you know. Um, and that's what I did, so I found it very useful to, you know, to bring to um, let's have it develop as a cook, mm -hmm. really. Um, yeah. Other ways of working, uh, other systems are in place. Um, but yeah, no, I've worked some, some great places. Um, Australia was insane, um, just because the food they had out there at the, at the disposal. Um, but yeah, I think no matter, I think I went over to Australia thinking, oh, it's going to be a lot easier, not as many hours coming from London. Um, <laughs> right. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't anything <laughs> at all. Right, so okay. it's a lot hotter. That's what it was. Oh dear. Um, yeah, so didn't seem to see well. Like, yeah, it's good. So after working in these places of such culinary excellence, yeah. what did you bring back with you? Was there anything in particular? Um, I think it's the work ethic um, and, and how ingredients were handled, whether it was you know um, a fillet of beef or whether it was a carrot. It's you know it's <laughs> all about how you treat that ingredient um, and giving all the ingredients the same amount of respect. That's the you know, that's one of the biggest things I saw from uh, Noma Australia. Um, these top kitchens, it's, no matter what it was, it was the same level of respect throughout. But yeah, we're trying to do the same thing here. Brilliant. If you could do anything differently, yeah. what would you change or what would you do? Um, I don't think I'd change anything. I think there's lots of little things. And, yeah, mistakes are good. Mistakes are, uh, you know, you learn from mistakes. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, if I said, oh, I wouldn't have done this and that, which was from mistakes, then I wouldn't, wouldn't be where we are now. Yeah. So it's kind of, yeah. um, I don't know. I don't know, really. <laughs> it In, can be perfect, I guess, right? You've got to have the. Oh, there's a lot of, like a lot of knobs it. and bumps yeah, along the way, exactly. absolutely. Yeah. But um, <laughs> anything I would have done differently? No, probably not, as far as where I've worked, I was, I was happy with where I managed to, managed to work and mm -hmm. the people I worked with. Um, there are probably a few regrets from, from the business side of things, like from the business and um, maybe a bit naive initially of, oh, it's going to be easy, oh, it's going to be fine. Um, I think maybe being a bit smarter in, in how I handle myself and things like that, but, you know, 
Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I can't. Yes, we had a can now, yeah. I can't now, so yeah. So, so for anyone else starting out in the industry, yeah. do you have any advice for them? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> I think I was with, at college with a, a young guy and I was working on work Mark Swearing and I was, gonna, I was trying to get a job uh, after I finished college. Um, and he went as a, a summer job. Um, I was really jealous as I was. So when he came out, so how was he? You know, mm. you know, tell me everything yeah. about it. Yeah. That's why I want to go and work at some point. Um, and he's like, quit. So what? He said, oh, well, I thought I, everyone was massively over saturated about the hours. And I was like, you an idiot. So, so yeah, a bit of advice is, it's, tr it's true. You do yeah. work long hours, it is hard work, but yeah. um, if you love food, it's very rewarding. 